Samsung's next big software update, One UI 8.5, might be a much bigger improvement than most people expected. While it may sound like just another mid-year update, recent leaks have confirmed that One UI 8.5 is actually based on Android. 16 QP are to a newer version of Android. That brings major under the hood and user experience. Upgrades. According to a detailed report from Android Authority, the leaked build of One UI 8.5 carries the SDK version 36.1 and, and the build ID prefix BP4A. These two values match Google's Android 16 QP R2 framework, which confirms that Samsung is building its next interface on top of that version. To put it simply, while One UI 8.0 was based on the first stable Android 16 release, this new 8.5 update takes things one step further by adopting the second major quarterly release. Now, this means users can expect more than just small design tweaks or bug fixes. One UI 8.5 is likely to deliver Google's new features from Android 16 QPR2 combined with Samsung's own system improvements. This combination could make Samsung phones smoother, smarter, and more customizable than before. Let's start with the design and usability upgrades. Android 16 QP R2 introduced several enhancements that are expected to appear in One UI 8.5, among them an expanded dark theme, which brings deeper integration across all apps and menus for a consistent look. There's also forced app icon theming, which will finally make every app icon match your chosen color palette. Even if the developer hasn't updated it, dot, another big change is native lock screen, widget support for third-party apps. This means users could add widgets from their favorite apps directly to the lock screen without needing special Samsung apps or workarounds. For example, you might soon be able to see Spotify controls, calendar events, or weather updates right from your lock screen. Fully integrated with One UI style, health and fitness fans will also get something useful, native step tracking support through Google's Health Connect. This feature allows fitness data from different apps to sync together seamlessly. Whether using Samsung Health, Fitbit, or Strava, Users will get accurate and unified data across all platforms. One UI 8.5 may also bring granular haptic feedback controls, allowing users to fine-tune vibration intensity for different notifications or interactions. Another handy feature could be PDF annotation and editing built right into the system. This will make it easier to mark up or sign documents without downloading extra apps. On the audio side, Samsung and Google are working together on something called Eclipse Audio, based on IAMF technology, which was announced earlier at CES 2025. This could take mobile audio quality to the next level, offering more realistic and immersive sound experiences. Especially when paired with Galaxy Buds or premium Samsung devices, users might also get manual brightness control for HDR and SDR content, giving more flexibility for video playback and editing. In addition, personal audio sharing in the audio output switcher could let users easily share music or videos with another device or person nearby. For professionals and creators, One UI 8.5 might bring newer audio apps that improve high quality, sound editing and music production apps, a small but valuable addition for those who use their phones for creative. Work dot security and privacy are also getting stronger with this update. Samsung could include Google's secure lock device feature, which makes it harder for thieves to access a stolen phone. A new phone theft protection toggle might allow remote disabling or tracking even if the device is reset. On top of that, expanded identity check could verify a user's identity in more apps, making mobile banking and secure login safer than ever. However, it's important to remember that Samsung may not include every single Android 16 QP R2 feature. The company usually selects the most useful and stable ones for its own ecosystem. Still, all developer-level changes, security patches, and API improvements will be included by default. In short, One UI 8.5 could be one of the biggest mid-cycle updates Samsung has ever rolled out. It's not just about cosmetic changes, it's about deeper Android integration, enhanced customization, smarter system tools, and better security. Everything will become official when Samsung unveils the Galaxy S26 series, which is expected to debut with One UI 8.5 out of the box. Once that happens, users will finally get to experience just how far Samsung's software can go when combined with the latest Android release. In summary, One UI 8.5 is shaping up to deliver a smoother interface. Smarter features improved customization, better sound quality, and stronger protection. What seemed like a simple update could end up being one of Samsung's most refined software releases yet.